looked like an HK USP nine millimeter handgun. Okay, so that is why they were chasing him in the first place. Um, there was reports of a robbery. Uh, and so then let's go back to exactly what happened. So he's on the ground, he's been shot. He says, take me to the hospital, I can't breathe. You got Officer Cruzazeka, uh, then calls for medical assistance and reports that shots were fired. While breathing hard, Jordell says, they made me do it. I didn't know who they were, they made me do it. While Snap handcuffs Jordell, that's another officer. While the teen is unresponsive, he's been shot. They handcuff him after he's been shot. The teen is unresponsive, one officer searches him, and a moment later both decide to start CPR. The officer snap urges Jordell to stay awake, as if that helped or ever worked. And then an EMS arrives to transport Jordell, who later, yeah, died of his injuries at a hospital. So again, this is all because he had a pellet gun and they thought he robbed a convenience store. He's there saying, they made me do it. Please stop, take me to the hospital, I'm done, I'm done. Um, Mondale, before we get into the response from the families, just wanted to kick it to you. Yeah, I think uh, you know when we continue to see police officers act in this manner where they shoot first. First of all, let's remember that it is legal to have a gun in Colorado and it's, and it's already obvious to us that they didn't know that this kid had a toy gun or a real gun. Um, because that the information about them and the robbery was not uh, privy to the officers at the time of the uh, chase. What we do know though, the officer's attitude told us exactly what their motives were. This officer said before they even saw the kids, they just saw suspicious acts from the kids, them being in hoodies and masks. And one of the officers said, I'm gonna light his ass up. Yes. What are you implying when you say that? What are your intentions? This is even before you knew what that kid had in their arm. Also, you didn't know how old this kid was. So he could have been a law abiding citizen carrying a firearm because Colorado allows for people to carry firearms if you're 18. So killing this kid, murdering this kid is exactly what happened. And they continue to say it completely different. And, I, and, I, and that is the sad part about this. Yeah, absolutely. They said, we're gonna light him up. As they, so there's conflicting reports, right? It's like, did they know that this was a robbery? It seems like some of them did and then, or as they were apprehending him, they found out there was a robbery and that's when he said, I'm gonna light him up. Now, I want everyone to remember, he was not, he was not even running away from the police as cowardly as that would have been to shoot at someone, right? He was already apprehended. And he was shot in the stomach. Are we gonna see another, you know, I thought it was my taser excuse? Like, honestly, I, I, I don't know what the excuse is there. You've got him. He's a 14 year old kid. There's multiple officers. You have him. Now, okay, a couple other, a little bit more context, and then a, his, the response from his family. So, two other 14 year olds were also taken into custody, uh, thankfully, not murdered. Uh, and face false imprisonment and aggravated robbery charges. Police have identified other suspects who fled in a stolen Kia Sedona minivan, but have yet to apprehend them. Um, the response from um, Jordell's family, Jordell Richardson is his name. Um, attorneys for Jordell's family said that his family's quote traumatized by the shooting and the death of the boy they love. And they're left with more questions and answers after viewing the videos. Acevedo, who is the police chief, apparently told family members that Jordell didn't suffer before he died, which the family found insulting. During the news conference, Acevedo confirmed, yeah, that he told the family that. And Gruzazeka has been placed on administrative leave pending an ongoing investigation into the shooting of Jordell. Right, again, paid administrative leave uh, once again and wanna, say, wanna bet he feared for his life once there's a pellet gun. And Mondell, you said it, right? How do they know? You chasing a kid, how do they know he is 18 or not, right? Like that. If it's legal to carry a gun, as it is in Colorado, then what are we doing here, right? It's, is, are all your rights waived when there is some presumption or suspicion of a nonviolent criminal offense like stealing vape canisters? I don't think so. I don't think you lose your life for that. But again, when you are black in this country, that is, I mean, it is a death sentence when dealing with the police. Whereas if you're white, and we covered on this show so many times, you're strung out on drugs. What was that a, a man in a suit the other the other day we covered? A guy in a suit strung out on fentanyl in his car uh, uh, or something of the sort. He's gingerly woken up, sort of, you know, almost like like making sure he's fine. Hey, that stuff is dangerous. No one's pulling a gun on him. No one's chasing him. 
anyway, um, we will see there's gotta be more to this, but any last thoughts, Wandale? 